The stage is set, and it's time to rock and roll. You are walking into an arena, and you must be ready to work. There could be no weakness. There could be no excuses. The application and how you apply it will determine the outcome of your success. This place of business, you cannot mess around and play games with it. This place of business is where you pay your dues. You earn your keep. You do what's necessary to push every rep because the repetitions are gonna come down on you really hard. For every rep, there will be a significant story to tell. Will you be able to push the next rep? Will you have just a little bit more power to get the next one? For every rep, tells a story about you. So what are you made of? What are you prepared to do? Are you holding on to something that won't help you to push the extra mile? That won't help you to push that extra rep that you need? Will you finish what you start? Or will you make excuses? What is it going to take for you to wake up and realize that in this place, there is no easy. Easy is not the way to go. You can't get strong being easy. You can't get faster being easy. You can't be the best makeup of yourself being easy. Easy won't pay your bills. You can't cast that check being easy. Hard work, determination is the key when you're in this place of business. Are you truly ready to show up? Because if you're not ready, you came to the wrong place. Because in this place, Every individual has to get that blood pumping. Every individual has to go further than they've ever gone in their life. Because accountability must be attached to your purpose of why you showed up here. Ladies and gentlemen, this journey, this opportunity, the abilities that you possess, you got to wake them up again. If you fell short yesterday, don't go back looking for it because it's not going to come back to you. Let today be the day that you pay your price, that you do what's necessary to push on. There are going to be people out there in the world right now that don't understand the significance and what it takes to put in work. You can't just play around and pretend that you're something that you're not. Because in this place of business, the title is Show Up. Show up and ready to work. Show up and ready to dig. Show up and ready to push. Show up and ready to run hard. You did not come here to hold yourself back. Why would you do that? Why would you put yourself in that position? Are you that individual that woke up this morning and didn't know if you wanted to show up today? You walked through the door and then you decided you weren't ready? You walked through the door and you said you wasn't ready because you wasn't ready to accept the fact that this is not going to be an easy day. It's not meant to be easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. 
The most important part of your journey in this world is to be unique. Physicality does not necessarily determine who you are inside. The outside does not determine what's on the inside. The mindset will guide you in the direction you need to be. Welcome to the jungle. In the jungle, there are rules. And the rule is, survive. Survive the challenges. Know the difference between obstacles and opportunities. Opportunities always come. They will forever show up. But do you have the ability to overcome the obstacles that are standing in your way? Do you have the strength capacity to push through it? Are you powerful enough to persevere without fear, without doubt, no excuses? When weakness shows up, you must let weakness know to step aside because these reps that you still have left, you are responsible for, not weakness. Not your best friend. This is your time to shine. This is your time to push. This is your time to get the work done. This place that you decided to show up, you better be ready to show out. Get tight, get right, or get going. Your alarm clock is not responsible for you to show up. Stop being lazy. Lazy is not going to get that weight off your chest. Lazy is not going to help you to drop those pounds. Lazy is not going to help you to go that extra mile. Lazy is not your last name. Do not hold yourself back from your true potential. What you possess inside and how you take care of it will determine the true outcome. Make this day count. Make every rep count. Make every breath that you take count. Be productive, be strong, and from the bottom of the heart, conduct your business. How hungry are you? How deep is your determination? How driven are you? These are the questions that you must ask yourself. But do you have the answers to it? Do you understand what it takes to be hungry? Now, if you're the type of person that's waiting for someone to serve you up a plate of success, then you're gonna be waiting a long time because no one is waiting for you to make up your mind. Being hungry and staying driven is what it's going to take to take you to the next level, to elevate you in areas that you've never been. Being hungry and driven is important. It's more important than sleep. It's more important than excuses. There are going to be a lot of people that are going to question you. They're going to ask you why. But it's not up to them to make the decisions for you. Your success depends on you. How hungry are you? How driven are you? Do you go a full day without a meal? Are you the type of person that likes only to eat once a day? Now, how do you survive off of one meal a day? Well, you may be thinking, well, people do it all the time. But we're not talking about food nourishment. We're talking about what's inside, what really you're looking for, what exactly that you want out of your life. A different type of hunger. A hunger for success. A hunger to follow your dreams and to get exactly it is what you're seeking in life. Standing out here in this desert, there are many different animals, creatures that roam throughout this desert. 
And things out here get eaten or they eat. And you have to ask yourself, which one are you? Because no matter what's going on out here, the art of survival is to survive. to live and that's what these animals do so what kind of animal are you are you really hungry are you driven are you determined do you want it are you going to do everything that is necessary to get it because there's no pity out here in this desert if you don't go after what it is that you are seeking to satisfy your hunger, then you're gonna starve. And when there's weakness, something else is gonna come along and eat you up. Let's talk about excuses. Why are they so important to so many people? Why do people tend to hold on to these things? We talk about excuses all the time. You know why? Because excuses seem to be the narrative in most people's life. Which one are you? Are you gonna set aside the excuses? Are you gonna serve up that plate of opportunity? Are you truly gonna eat the right way instead of starving yourself, feeding off excuses? Hungry, yes. Stay hungry. Every day you should never be satisfied. I'm full. Full off of what? Don't ever get full. Always continue to stay hungry. Don't ever say I'm good. You're not good. Don't ever say you're okay. Okay is not going to make it for you. It's time to stay driven. It's time to stay hungry and continue to down the path which you are going after. In the world today, we find ourselves in many different positions. There are many people out here that just don't understand exactly what it is that they want. And we continue to go down this path all the time. You go through it, I go through it, many people go through it. They just don't have a clue about where they want to go in their lives. But are you prepared to do it? Do you have what it takes? Are you willing to give everything you have? Are you willing to set aside people that don't really matter in your life? Are you gonna stop holding on to the excuses? Are you gonna stop holding on to the misery and the sorrows and all of these things that won't elevate you? Society is struggling right now. Many people are struggling right now. That doesn't mean you don't stay hungry. Let this be a lesson. If you're hurting right now, if you're struggling right now, that doesn't mean that you're out of the fight. You just got to stay hungry. You got to stay determined. You got to have wisdom. You got to have patience. You got to make sacrifices. Whatever it takes, you got to keep moving. Stay hungry. When you sit at the table, satisfy that hunger and then get up and go for seconds. Go for thirds if you have to, but be determined and stay hungry. Believe in yourself each and every day of your life because there's only so much time that we all have. Don't waste it on nonsense. Be productive, be strong, be powerful. And from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. You're mad. You're frustrated. You want to quit. You're mad because you couldn't succeed at what it is that you're trying to get. That word again, try. There it is. I tried. I did what I could do. I did all I could. I tried. Why did you quit? Why do you want to quit? Because it didn't go the way you wanted it to go. That's what most people do. They quit because it doesn't go the way they want it to go. 
Do you understand that everything is not going to work out the way you want it to work out? But that doesn't mean you're supposed to quit. That doesn't mean that you're supposed to give up on it. Quit. That's very, very nice, isn't it? That's the best thing that you could ever do in your life is quit. That's what you want to do. Now I'm here to let you know right now. You are going to be at the back of the bus. You're going to be so far back, nobody's going to recognize you or see you or see your true potential because you gave up. This is not the time to give up. If you're getting yourself kicked down, if you feel like you're getting whooped, then disaccept the fact that that's what it's going to take for you to recognize that you're giving up and you're giving up for the wrong reasons because it's not going the way you want it to go. This is not the way you have to be. Day in and day out, you got to keep on thriving. You got to keep on working. And if you get knocked down, so what? Rise up and get up. Don't quit. Every single day, every moment of your life, you're going to go through something, some type of hell. Something is going to put you in a position where you're frustrated, where you're angry, you're mad because you were so good at one time. And then finally, something showed up and beat you down. Now you want to quit. It's too hard. I want to quit. I don't understand it. I want to quit. Yeah, that's easy. Anybody can do that. You want a reward, don't you? You want a biscuit meal because you quit. You want to be satisfied with quitting. See, I'm not here to give you no script speeches. I'm not here to make you feel good about yourself. I'm here to give you the rawness, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And I'm here to let you know if you quit, you mean less of yourself and you're not giving more of yourself. It's time for you to recognize the truth about you. Don't quit. Don't give up. Fight. Work for it. Sometimes it's okay. So what you hurting? Hurt some more. It's okay. I'm tired, but I ain't dead. I'm alive. I'm living. I'm a living, breathing testimony. What are you? Quit. <clears throat> what that's going to do? Quit. <clears throat> what is it going to do? Nobody's going to remember you. Nobody's going to recognize you. You want so much recognition. All they're going to remember is that you gave up and you quit. Quitting is not going to get you where you want out of life. Quitting is not going to give you the satisfaction of what you need. And I said it before and I said it again. It's not okay to give up. It's not okay to say you're limited. Go a bit further and go beyond your limits. Find something else that's going to make you stronger, that's going to make you better, that's going to build you up. Stop worrying about what you can't control. If you let your emotions take control of your life, then yeah, that's what quitting is going to do. Quitting is not your friend. Quitting doesn't love you. Quitting is exactly what it is. Quitting. You gave up. Instead of showing up. So ladies and gentlemen. On this day. Recognize. That if you're living. If you're breathing. Then you got work to do. And if you fall down. Get back up. If you quit. You're done. Because you can't go back. And you definitely shouldn't be trying to start over. Start up with the right mindset. And get it done. Don't you quit. You fight. You push, you work, and from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business.